Hello and welcome to the Rocky Mountains. I have not brushed my teeth yet today. And today I'm getting a new roommate by the name of Oatmeal. Oatmeal is a Labrador puppy. She is two months old. Pretty excited. It's been a long time since I had a puppy. I'll be curious to see how Oatmeal plans on paying her part of the bills. All right, so we just picked up Oatmeal and we are out in the woods and we're gonna put her to the test, see what kind of mountain puppy we got going on here. So Oatmeal is now 10 weeks old. She's grown quite a bit and she's a bit of a handful. And we're gonna go on a road trip out to California and see how she does. Oh, what's going on? Oh, you're gonna bite me again? Brush, you gotta brush your teeth. It's, you gotta brush your teeth, Oatmeal. You gotta brush your teeth here like this. All right, so we just left home and this is our first stop on the way to California. Pretty cool little spot to just kick back and let Oatmeal go to the bathroom. Come here, Oatmeal. Oatmeal has been so good this trip. We just went over Cottonwood Pass. Now we're making our descent down into Gunnison over here. Sure is pretty out here. We're gonna stop up here pretty soon. Oatmeal, what's going on with your ear there? Oh. Come on. Good girl. So we're now in Rabbit Valley. Okay. So we're now in Rabbit Valley. So it took us pretty much all day to get across the state of Colorado. Good morning and welcome to Utah. It's day two of our adventure. This is a pretty cool spot right here. This is where we ended up staying the night last night. Couldn't really see any of this stuff in the dark. And right here is where we slept. We just drove up into the National Forest here a little bit of ways. And it's still pretty early and we're gonna go ahead and get rowing. All right, we were in the middle of nowhere, Utah, and it is awesome. Look at this little desert dog. You like that dirt oatmeal? Welcome to Nevada. We found a little national forest road to give Oatmeal some exercise on. Always pick up garbage when you hike. All right, we're still in Nevada. This is a really cool place out here. I like this. Way out here in the desert, you can see the storm behind us. We just drove through that thing. California. Finally made it to California, my home state. What do you think, Oatmeal? Yeah. Okay. Welcome to the Sierra Nevadas. We found a really cool campsite here in California. The sun's about to go down. The sun is coming up and things are beautiful. So Oatmeal and I came across this big black rock. It looks like it's made out of obsidian or something, or at least it has some obsidian on it. It's really shiny. It almost looks like some kind of glass or ceramic. What do you think, Oatmeal? We are back in Utah, and it's time to feed Oatmeal. Good morning from Utah. This is where we ended up camping last night. We rolled in in the dark. It's a pretty cool spot, but I wouldn't want to be here all day without an awning. So we're back in Colorado. We are still over on the western slope. Oatmeal and I have found our last campsite for this road trip. Welcome back to the Rocky Mountains. We're at Big Bear Creek. And me and Oatmeal are gonna follow a little trail that's over here in the bushes and see what's up this way.
So this will be our last stop on the way home. We're less than 100 miles from home. We just found a cool place in the National Forest to hang out for a few minutes. I must admit, over the last three weeks, I have fallen in love with oatmeal. And I'm pretty sure that she's figured out by now that I'm her human and she has no choice in the matter. Hey, oatmeal. Do you know how non-binary ninja assassins get their prey? They slash them. Hey, oatmeal, do you know why bears in Australia do not like cheap coffee? They prefer koala tea. What do you know about farm birds? Do you know why the conjoining twins went to England? So the other one could drive. Hey, oatmeal, did I ever tell you about the time I put glitter on my scrotum? It was pretty nuts. It was pretty nuts. Oatmeal, it was pretty nuts. Looks like I got a new best friend. All right, well, I'm pretty much convinced that blind people can see oatmeal. And I would say right in the middle, five-star rating for oatmeal. I highly recommend a lab puppy.